Hello, welcome to Wales Today. As the country braces itself for storm unit. Good evening. Wales is bracing itself for Storm Eunice as a very rare top-level red warning is issued for tomorrow. The whole country is on amber alert, but it's South Wales, particularly along the coast, that's on the highest alert from 7 o'clock in the morning until noon. During that time, winds could be in excess of 90 miles per hour. People have been warned to stay indoors due to significant danger to life. All rail services tomorrow have already been cancelled and the majority of schools are also set to close. Well, Nick Savini is live tonight near Swansea and Nick, just one, in one of many parts of the country. Derek is here with me. So just how bad could it be, Derek? I think it's going to be really bad, Luke. OK, Derek, thank you very much. And you're going to have a full forecast for us later in the programme. But for now, thank you. Yes, yeah, some more advice on Storm Eunice later too. But first, the NHS waiting list in Wales has grown for the 20th month in a row, reflecting the scale of the challenge that lies ahead in trying to bring down a record backlog of treatments. But today's statistics also show the increase in December was the smallest rise since the start of the pandemic. And that, according to the Health Minister, reflects the heroic efforts of frontline staff. But more patients than ever are waiting many months and in some cases years to start treatment and many of those will be in severe pain. Our health correspondent Owen Clark reports. Okay. People who foster a child from their own family say they're discriminated against compared with unrelated foster carers. Known as kinship carers, they aren't automatically paid the same as foster carers, despite having to do exactly the same job. Our social affairs correspondent India Pollock reports. They may be adorable, but we're having fewer children in Wales. The birth rate here is at a 100-year low. And according to the Auditor General, this has serious consequences for schools and the NHS. Paul Martin reports. Now, most of us are familiar with Port Merion, the Italian-style village on the coast of Gwynedd. But not many of us will have heard of the Brondano estate in Snowdonia. It boasts fairy tale cottages and dream homes that can be traced back to Port Merion's architect, Sir Clough Williams Ellis. But the people who live there aren't rich, as you might expect. They're young families and they're paying cheap rents, as Will Fife reports. Well, let's return to our top story now and the approach of Storm Eunice due to hit Wales tomorrow morning. Nick Savini is in Swansea. And Nick, what is the latest advice to people to prepare for the storm's arrival and to stay safe? And don't forget, we'll have the latest advice and information on Storm Eunice for you right across all BBC Wales news services on Radio Wales, Radio Cymru and online and, of course, right here on BBC Wales Today. We'll be back after the news at 10 tonight. But for now, from all of us here, thank you for watching and do take care. Bye-bye.